All right, we've analyzed all the prep races. You've seen the videos. Now it's time to discuss betting strategy for the Kentucky Derby. I was hoping to have this video published, you know, a day or so earlier, but with all the wet weather, I decided to go over the pedigrees of these 20 horses uh, to try to find a horse who might, you, you know, move up or regress on a wet track. And it really did feel kind of like it was a futile task. There's some interesting tidbits that I could throw at you. For instance, uh, Taba Sire, gun runner. He's a young sire, uh, obviously off to a hot start, uh, but his progeny are 15 for 42 in wet dirt track races. So uh, basically off, off tracks, gun runners, offspring are winning at a 35% clip, 15 wins from 42 starts. That bodes well for Taba, although he's based in Southern California and he hasn't seen much of the rain. Uh, Mo Donegal was another horse who, who, looking at this, who I thought, you know, maybe you could say his chances move up a little on a wet track. Uh, his sire, Uncle Mo, loved the mud. His only mud race, he run 118 by your speed figure in the Kelso. was a great performance. And uh, Mo, Mo Donegal's second dam, Island Sand, just missed at 16 to 1 in the Kentucky Oaks on a very muddy track. And she won her other wet track race by 12 and a half. So uh, maybe Mo Donegal's a horse that would move up in a, a mud storm. But I feel like all that work I put in, and I really didn't have any strong conclusion as far as who might move up or move back and regress on a wet track. Now I'm doing this video at 2 30 on Friday. So with basically just a half million in the wind pool, this is what the early odds look like. You got Mo Donegal at seven to one, Happy Jack, a ridiculous twenty-two to one. There must be a lot of people named Jack that are betting them early. Epicenter five to one, which I think might be the early favorite. Um, Messier seven to one. Uh, but here's it, what's interesting: Zandon is eight to one, and I thought this might happen. I thought the three to one morning line odds was kind of ridiculous. And that was the best thing. People who really like Zandon, I think that low morning line was the best thing that could possibly happen because I think it gets people off Zandon. And Zandon won't go off at three to one. I think we'll be able to get five or six to one on Zandon. You see Taba at six to one now, bet down. I didn't understand that 12 to one line there, but it is what it is. So this is a scroll of what the odds look like at 2.30 on Friday. Now we're taking handicapping to the most literal sense possible here, uh, but these are my percent chances of each horse winning the Kentucky Derby. It's a fair value odds line. Basically, uh, you try to assess if the race was run 100 times, uh, you know, how likely each horse is to win. I've got Zandon as my top horse in a race. I've got him with an 18% chance to win. Taba second at 16%. And you see the fair value odds here. So obviously as a public handicapper, you know, people want you to just give them a horse. And Zandon is the horse that I would give. Um, I, he's not going to be three to one morning line. You're going to get better price than that. If you get nine to two or better, just take it. Obviously, you see Ethereal Road is scratched here, but the horse who draws in the Eric Reed horse, uh, similarly, I would put it 0.10%. Uh, so if you're curious what my fair value odds line is for the Derby, there it is. Zandon, I think, is the most likely winner of the race. Tabe is the second most likely winner. I've got a minus in parentheses with him because I think he's a horse that can either win or will get caught behind horses and just bomb. So uh, he's a horse that I'd only consider, you know, I wouldn't use him underneath in exotics. Like if I'm playing a trifecta, I'm not even going to bother to put Taba in like the third spot. Or if I'm playing a super, I'm not going to put him in the fourth spot. But I do think if he breaks sharp, uh, he's got a he's got a real shot to win, but he's also got a shot to bomb. Messier, thirteen percent. I see him as the third most likely winner of the race, epicenter, and so on. I mean, you could basically see my my read on each horse just by looking at this line. One thing about a wet track with Zandon, 
the Toyota Bluegrass Stakes, there was a, a lot of moisture that day. The track was uh, listed as good. Uh, but you see the three-eighths pull here. Uh, this pull right behind Zandon, that means there's only three furlongs left in the race. Zandon, the number four, was last in the Bluegrass at this point. You're going to watch him just basically knife his way, carve his way through the field. He slices his way through the field to win going away. And that extra eighth of a mile in the Kentucky Derby is only going to be right up his alley. Is right there, third up on the outside as they round the turn. And then comes trademark in fourth, rattle and roll. Angles to the far outside, fifth, still nine lengths off the lead, just outside of Ethereal Road. Moving by the quarter pole, Emmanuel, the leader. Smile Happy now takes aim from the outside. Here's Smile Happy to take the lead from Emmanuel into the final furlong, and Zandon is running late. Zandon has moved through all kinds of traffic from the back of the pack, and he is now taking command in deep stretch. It's over. Zandon wins the Toyota Bluegrass with a dramatic stretch run for Flavian Pratt. Smile happy had to settle. So simply put, Zandon is the horse that I think has got the best shot to win the Kentucky Derby. He's also, I think, by far and away, the horse most likely to run one, two, three in the race. And for, for, for an exotic betting strategy, I like Kian Zandon, top and bottom, with Mo Donical, Messier, and Taiba in the exotic wagers. If you want a little bigger ticket, you can also uh, use Epicenter and Smile Happy. Time will tell what price Zandon goes off at, but it's not going to be that 3-1. to one. That morning line's just too short. I think he's attractive value, and Zandon is the horse to bet and the horse to key in the Kentucky Derby. Thank you. I've really enjoyed it, and I appreciate you watching.